road. It is windy and wild on the Coorong at the minute, but the weather forecast says that the wind is going to die off. We're just going to get set up, get the tent set up here, get some food out, and then we'll run through what baits and what rigs we're going to be using today. But first off, let's just get set up. We have already now got one bait in the water. I thought the camera was recording. Story of my life. One bait in. We're starting to burly up. It's nice and early as well. Maybe. You never know. You never know. The legal fish that I catch tonight, I'm planning on keeping. So I'm just chucking out on each rod one set of triple snails. A nice bit of squid, octopus, or soury on there. I've got three different baits that we're going to be using. But a triple snail, we'll fill them up. We'll get some more baits out, and then hopefully hook up. First things first. Always got to get the waders on. <sighs> Easy set. Let's get some big baits out. Trap set. Let's go. I'll be on, but I'm not 100% sure. Might be eating my words. Might also be a little soapy. Yeah, something on there. Gummy. Yeah, there is. Yo. Nice morning gummy. Beautiful. Yes. That's a keeper. I did say today would be the day that I'm keeping fish, so this guy's gonna be getting kept. Well, that's what we want. Some midday hookups. Beautiful. This uh, this guy is going to be a keeper because I've got to keep something. <laughs> got to take something home for the missus. Keep doing catch and release and uh, never keeping anything. So I'm going to put this out of its misery. All right, I'd just say look away if you're gory. If you don't like a bit of gore, but I think this is really important to do and um, when you're gutting your fish is just check what they've actually been eating because um, it's quite fascinating sometimes what you can find look at that little baby crayfish that's crazy tiny little crayfish two crabs I'll chuck them back out and use them as bait as well they'll, they'll, they can go on a hook and get me a gummy sock tiny tiny little cray tiny little cray and then two of these crabs they're gonna be bait. They'll be going straight on a big circle hook. And straight back out for a gummy tonight, I think. Why not? Gilded and gutted, nice size gummy. That's gonna go straight into um, the cooler and fill it that when I get home. Beautiful. One of two that I'm allowed to keep. Well, that was a nice daytime gummy and chucked out another couple of big baits, put a couple of big squid heads actually on that. So just canceling out any of them smaller fish a little bit with some big circle hooks. I apologize for the wind noise. I still need to get a microphone for this. Got a couple of mates on their way down. We're gonna have a fish tonight. We're gonna burly up again. I'm gonna chuck out. I think I've got some souries and some octopus for tonight. One more gummy I'm gonna keep. The rest will be catch and release. And I'd love to get a legal mull away. I've, I've yet to break that meter mark and I really want to break that meter mark. So fingers crossed tonight will be the night. Bragmat's going to be getting laid out and then we're going to hit that meter mark. Fingers crossed. I think we'll go down and just check these baits. Look at that rain cloud on the way. Maybe I have to sit in the car whilst that system goes past. I'm interested to see if I'll catch something on one of them crabs tonight. We'll chuck one of them crabs on a circle hook. Hopefully hook up. Who knows? Not too keen on going out there and getting wet. And I didn't bring a rain jacket either, so... See what happens. That sun is beating down, but you know that I like to do a little bit of exploring as well. Thought I'd just come down here and check out on this sort of landline. 
just along here. You can imagine how old um, like these shells and that would be. It's pretty cool looking through this sort of stuff. You never know what you might find. Heaps of stuff in here. Shells, crustacean shells, but there is always plastic. You will always find bits of plastic wherever you look. It's a cool place. All the dunes up there and the rods tonight. Well, they are going to be going off. It's going to be a good one. I'm starving as well. Tonight on the menu is steak burgers. U-U-T. Bit of excitement. Hopefully, the sharks and Mulloway will follow. Something slightly different. We're going with that stuff that we got out of that gummy shark crab and the small cray. The crab came off. <laughs> of course, it did. We've got first hook up of the night. Cam is hooked up. This is the start. First fish for the night. Hopefully, a lot more to come. We didn't actually end up with any more gummy sharks after that, which we're all surprised about. The, the, the tide was very, very low. So we're gonna get up, I'll get up about 5 a.m. See you in the morning. Well, good morning. What a beautiful morning it is, as always. A freezing cold and wet night. That is the last time I sleep in that tent. I absolutely hate that tent. I've already chucked out a bait. I've got an octopus and soury on that rig. <clears throat> but I'm just looking here. There's a nice sort of hollow over this region here. You can just see it now. I think I might go and chuck a rod in there. Same again, soury and octopus. Fingers crossed this morning. I want one more gummy. Target species this morning is gummy shark. And I want one more. Fingers crossed. Get hooked up the size difference in these. <laughs> Hello buddy. It's a really nice hollow over there. Let's give it a go here. That's right in the middle of the gutter there. That's our best bet, if we've got a best bet. We definitely thought we were going to hook up to more fish last night. Really, really good night the night before on that um, on my last video, the solo Kurong trip. I'll drop the link to that now. And um, I, only, I only fished for a few hours as well on that video. So we were hooking up to gummies and the soapies. Nothing too big on the soapy front, but some really nice gummies, some good eating gummies, but I've all catch and release. Kept them out of the water for minimal amount of time. Got them straight back in. I think it's this morning as well, I might even have a cast. Well, that's it, we're calling it. I cannot believe we didn't get a hook up to more gummies last night. Um, only the one gummy for me on this trip. And really the only difference that I can put that down to is I wasn't burling up anywhere near as hard as I was on that other video that I did with the gummies and soapies. Um, I had a few decent sized gummies on that and that I think it really shows that if you burly up decently with some of them pilly logs then it definitely makes a difference. Still good to get out, 
had a bloody good night. Same as always, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to sub, and I'll see you in the next one.